highlight or in the in the limelight. I, I I just don't know what I don't know what to say except for I wish her the best. I wish uh, Prince Williams the best. I wish the entire family the best. And if there's one time that we can tell the British press to stand down, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one time that I would call for them to please stand down because the aggravation. The the imposing, the wanting to know everything, the wanting to see everything, wanting to criticize everything increases her stress level. And that's going to harm her ability to heal and overcome this battle. Yeah, I I, I agree. I agree. And, and uh, I just hope that, um, you know, uh, also Prince William is is uh, holding up well. I mean, to have a father who right. happens to be king. Uh, but it's still your dad who is going through his own cancer treatment and now your wife going through uh, uh, her own cancer treatment. That's a lot. Uh, and so, you know, lots been talked about, lots been written about, about the, the riff and the relationship between Prince Harry and Prince William. Uh, I certainly hope that uh, uh, these challenging times, you know, can bring those brothers uh, together. Uh, and you from- know, Harry, Harry's that guy. We know Harry's that guy. You know, Harry's that guy that when it comes to his family, right, when it comes to when it comes to life and death, we know that Harry is that guy that will pick up the phone. Rumors are that he has picked up the phone and he wants his brother and his his sister-in-law to know that he's here for them. And I was very pleased to hear that. Well, uh, well that's encouraging news, encouraging news. Uh, and our thoughts are with uh, uh, Princess Kate and Prince William and the whole royal family. Um, you know, anybody who has been impacted by cancer, hearing those words that your loved one has cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, You know, I've had that experience. It sounds like Al, you've had that experience as well. Um, uh, You know, uh, it, it, it's a whirlwind. And so, uh, you know, hopefully they take it one day at a time and, and that the British press stands down from the uh, Royal family to the queen of talk. uh, You know, Oprah has made a lot of news this week with the special Uh that aired uh, on Monday on ABC. Um, and it's now available on Hulu, uh, talking about her having come sort of the, you know, personal shame of mm-hmm. utilizing a weight loss uh, medication as an intervention that's helped her uh, to uh, lose the weight and get healthier. Uh, she credits not just the medication, but exercise and, you know, change of diet, uh, a holistic approach. Well, guess what? There's something called Ozempic babies, and they're surprising uh, women who are taking the weight loss drugs. And doctors just don't know why. Women are getting pregnant, in most cases, unintentionally, they say, while taking mm-hmm. weight loss medication like Ozempic and Manjaro, despite being on birth control or dealing with years of fertility issues. Facebook groups, Reddit threads, and TikTok videos are connecting women who are pregnant with or or already had an Ozempic baby or Manjaro baby, as they've come to be called and want to share their surprise pregnancy experiences. Uh, I want to get Al's take on (laughs) this. I have a feeling that Al may have a little PSA uh, Uh, to offer us uh, uh, today. Uh, When we come forward, you're listening to a more perfect union on KBLA Talk 1580. KBLA Talk 1580 is an intervention. When we come forward, includes you. KBLA Talk 1580, turning pain into power. Power. I'm Tyreek Wynn. Here's the latest on the Black Information Network. The Young Thug and YSL street gang trial continues in Georgia. And defense attorney says if the case doesn't pick up speed, the trial could last until 2027. Prosecutors say they would call 400 witnesses and so far have gone through 53. The trial has already faced a number of delays, including juror problems and time off. The state senator from Detroit, Michigan, is asking Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel to rule on the removal of former Michigan State University Board of Trustees Rima Vassar. Democratic Senator Sylvia Santana wrote a letter to Nessel the day after Vassar was punished and removed by the MSU board. Beyonce will be honored at the 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards next month. Singer will be receiving the iHeart Innovator Award for her creative risk and successfully transforming her music. That's the latest. I'm Tyreek Wynn on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Robert Half Research indicates 9 out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. 
Visit RobertHalf.com today. <laughs> this is the KBLA Sports Minute with Ray Richardson. Come on, Dad. The Lakers should be well-rested. They've been off since Monday. The Lakers are back in action tonight against Philadelphia at Crypto.com. The Clippers are in Portland tonight, a tall task for the Grambling State men's basketball team today in the NCAA tournament. The SWAC champion takes on Purdue and their seven foot four center, Zach Eady, the two-time national player of the year. Purdue is the number one seed in the Midwest Regional. Grambling is the 16th seed. A year ago, Purdue was the number one seed in the Midwest and made the wrong type of history when they lost in the first round to number 16, Farley Dickinson. It was the first time a 16 had beaten the number one since the NCAA tournament expanded to 64 teams in 1985. A lot of HBCU supporters will be watching Grambling and Purdue to see if it happens again. 4.25 4.25 p.m. tip-off today on TBS. No debates, no speculation, just the info you need. That's your KBLA Sports Minute. I'm Ray Richardson on KBLA Talk 1580. This is KBLA Talk 1580. Talk radio. That's music. Music. We're unapologetically progressive. KBLA Talk 1580. We've got a lot to talk about. Hi, I'm Ray Richardson, your sports connection here at KBLA Talk 1580. Join me and my co-host Neil Scarborough every Saturday night at 7 for Out of Bounds, the show that brings some flavor to the world of sports for 60 minutes. We take you beyond the scores and press conferences. We give you our point of view the way black folks see what's going down. You can join the conversation and give us your analysis at 1-800-920-1580. Out of Bounds, every Saturday night at 7 on KBLA Talk 1580. We've got a lot to talk about. Unapologetically progressive. KBLA Talk 1580. We've got your black. Black. Black and style, dog. Eggs are a staple in our diets, and there's only one egg with more delicious farm-fresh taste plus superior nutrition, Eggland's Best. With more vitamins, including six times more vitamin D and 10 times more vitamin E, plus 25% less saturated fat than ordinary eggs. Available in so many delicious varieties, classic, cage-free, and organic. Eggland's Best, better taste, better nutrition, better eggs. The thing no one tells you about periods is that your flow changes every day and so should your tampon size. Tampax has five absorbencies to match your changing flow. If it hurts to remove, go down a size. If it leaks, go up a size. Only Tampax has a leak guard braid to help give you up to 100% leak and odor-free protection. All day comfort and protection for under $5 a month. Based on average U.S. consumer usage at manufacturer's suggested price, however, pricing is at the sole discretion of the retailer. Excludes eight counts. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. So you just used bug spray in your home. Now what? Well, between the waiting and waiting for things to dry up and keeping your family away from the mess, it hits you. You could have used Zevo. Unlike other bug sprays that stick around, Zevo goes from kill to clean in seconds. Plus, it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Fabrice. Fabric Talk. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Fabrice Fabric Spray Day. The occasional deep cleans are nice, but in between, you know I'm needing a refresh. Ooh, here she comes with the Fabrice Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them armrests. Don't be shy. Nothing like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. Don't forget my back. Nice. Fabrice Fabric Spray. It's just that easy. Now we can both breathe happy Fabrice. La, 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 la. At KBLA Talk 1580, we do more than just talk. You got a big mouth. We're unapologetically progressive and we don't black down.
You're listening to A More Perfect Union on KBLA Talk 1580. Delighted to be in conversation with Al Reynolds, uh-huh. co-host of Fox Hole's TGIF. He's also an entertainment and pop culture correspondent and has a fierce backdrop. Hey. I mean, what, so what's on your library shelf, Al? <laughs> Everything. You know, I, I am born in the 70s. We read books, we touch books, books are our lives. This is how actually when you come from, I I came from a very humble beginning and the way that I used to escape, you know, my circumstances were to read my way out, open up my imagination. So if I wanted to pretend like I was studying in Europe, what a book I was studying in Europe. (laughs) And now look at you living the dream. We love to see it. it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Uh, But what folks, uh, may not be uh, loving so much uh, is these surprise pregnancies. Before the break, I mentioned that uh, there's something called Ozempic babies, mm-hmm. and they're surprising women who are taking the weight loss drug. Women are getting pregnant, in most cases, unintentionally, they say, while taking the weight loss medications like Ozempic and Manjaro, despite being on birth control or dealing with years of fertility issues. All right, Al, serve it up. What's the public I service? Not, you know, I'm going to give you, I, you, know, I'm give you the tea. I'm going to give you the real tea. So I am, on, I am on Manjaro. And oh. I have to tell you, like- Breaking news. It, it, breaking news. I, I make it no secret because I, I, I was overweight. And I'm of a man of a certain age and I couldn't get the weight off. And to be honest, I didn't have the motivation to get the weight off. And this has worked along with diet and exercise as a way to kind of have me reclaim my life. And I was, I, I gotta be honest, I was feeling like a little ugly duckling, overweight, clothes not fitting, um, not feeling like people are checking you out as much as they used to. Mm-hmm. You know, we live in a very size sensitive uh, uh, culture. And I decided to do this along with my doctor because I have high blood pressure and that the lower my weight, the more I can manage my weight, the more I can manage my food that I take in, the better off. And I lost a nice amount of weight. And let me tell you something. When you lose that weight, you can fit those jeans that used to be your sexy jeans. You start thinking you cute. (laughs) <laughs> and when you start thinking you cute, you be moving around that house all sassy and whatnot. And and I think that these pregnancies are because women are getting their confidence back. Oh. You know, they're 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 losing that weight that that they thought their husband wasn't attracted to. And once it starts to shed off, and they're able to see, you know, that little A line, that little skirts coming back <laughs> on that they used to wear, that favorite little skirt they used to could entice that husband. They're able to get back in it again. They taking advantage of it. You know, weight loss is one of those things that could really mess with your self-confidence. And once you're able to attack it and deal with it, you get that self-confidence back. And let me tell you, Dr. Nakordalai, and you know, you and I both got all these degrees, but we're still human. And when that weight started coming off, I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine too. So I can see how those ladies are beginning to take that birth control pill because you feel cute. (laughs) <laughs> you feel sexy. You feel like you can take on the world again, and it's a new you. And mm-hmm. and you just are. It's a breath. Of, it's a breath of fresh air. It's it's something that you've been dealing with for so long, and you're able now to actually tackle it. So I would say, from my personal experience, and look, I've been flirting a little bit more. I've been putting myself out there a little bit more. Look. They ain't working, but it is helping, you know, because I, I feel sexier. I feel like the clothes that I couldn't get in, I'm getting in, and it's just giving me more self confidence. And I think at the end of the day, when we have more self confidence, when we feel sexier, we just move differently. And 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 I would say for women, I can imagine that their husbands are appreciating it, and they're mm. like, okay, now you're back into putting on lingerie that before you were afraid your body wasn't cute enough for oh now you're wearing your favorite tight jeans that we used to put on on date night to kind of rev it up a little bit now you're back in them and you're getting a little frisky so (laughs) they're taking advantage of it okay all right all right well you look great al i mean last time i saw you was uh at the um uh naacp uh brunch uh Mm -hmm. that i co-hosted with bayer baldwin institute and uh and hrc and uh uh even since then, like you, you, you look great. You look fit. Thank you. Look you. Thank you. Happy you know, Los old. Angeles is also a whole different, whole different story. 
you it know, can you, be. You, it can you know, be. the weight weight is a big thing. And 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 I'm just saying that if it's right for you under medical supervision, and I do want to say under medical supervision, this could be a drug that can help you not only reach your goal, because the, 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 the deal is to reach your goal, your weight goal, so that you can be healthier. And I think when you're healthier, you're happier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, look, cheers to longevity. Uh, certainly on my mom and dad's side of the si side of the family, there are cardiovascular related issues, right. as is the case for a lot of our friends and loved ones. And so I totally understand uh, the calculus. You know, I've been, you know, running around here for a good six to eight months with a prescription that I have not turned in. Boy, you know, because I, mean, I just I gotta stop you know, saying that. It, there's, there's a there's a part of me that's you know trying to get over that mental hurdle of well you know maybe if I just sort of double up workout days you know um, you know you know maybe I can maybe I don't need it maybe I don't need it but mm -hmm. um, you know look we're all in this in this uh, fight for longevity especially as black men uh -huh. uh, and so you know whatever you can do to achieve a healthy weight manage a healthy weight right and do mm -hmm. so in a way that you can sustain. Right. This That's isn't right. just about losing a bunch of weight, you know, but it's about, you know, making those changes in your lifestyle mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to be able to keep the weight down, keep the weight off and stay healthy. And so uh, right. be sure to consult your doctor. I ain't that kind of doctor. <laughs> Don't put it on me. Uh, but uh, uh, Lenny Kravitz might as well call himself Dr. Feelgood at almost right. 60. Lenny Kravitz talks about workouts and his new music. And why he's never felt more vibrant. Uh, and get this, Lenny Kravitz has turned into a grandfather. He's talking mm -hmm. about the reality that he'll hit 60 in May. But anyone who's seen the video TK421, where much of Kravitz's sculpted body is on display or admired, uh, his many abs spotlighting mesh shirts, uh, mm -hmm. are in disbelief that uh, Kravitz is marching towards Social Security eligibility. Let me just say this. If the Social Security Administration wants to refresh their brand, they ought to make Lenny Kravitz a brand of that. <laughs> look, you can sign me up for Social Security tomorrow. <laughs> if I get to look like, feel like, hang hang with folks that are bringing this Lenny Kravitz energy. Um, what do you make of, of, of Lenny Kravitz as a very powerful demonstration of what's possible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. almost 60 right. uh, in this pursuit of longevity. So, you know, this is what I have to say about Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz and I used to have the same trainer. I have actually for years trained behind Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz has a focus that is just not what I'm going to say, not human like. Um, he has always been very conscious about his body, what he puts in his body uh, and, and what he uses in order to maintain his wellness. Now, he takes that super, super, super serious. And as you can see, the results of him taking that serious is a body that looks like his. I do have to say that we as 60 year olds cannot pretend like this is something that all of us can achieve. This is something that he hasn't been doing like the last five years. This isn't something that Lenny Kravitz has been doing on Ozempics. This is something that Lenny Kravitz as a lifestyle has been living for over 40 years. So I want to make that very clear. If you know Lenny Kravitz and have ever been around him or worked out with him or been in his space when it comes to wellness, both mentally and physically, this man has not changed over the last 40 years. And I commend him for also just serving as a role model in our community of what that type of intensity can lead to and be if you put your mind to it. I can't do anything but salute Lenny because the days I couldn't make it to the gym, I would go only because I was like, Lenny is not going to beat me in the gym. He would have me drinking the I would drink, just go because Lenny was there. Right. I just go because Lenny was there. Right. You, you, you need some water. He would have you drinking the, the grass drinks before you were drinking the grass drinks. He doesn't believe in polluting his body. I mean, the guy is just on another level. And I do appreciate that he's very vocal and honest about his journey and that he shares his body because a lot of people don't share their body. And I like the fact that Lenny shares his body at the age that he is because he is an example of 
if you walk that path of 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 you know being square not square i don't want to say square that's the wrong word you know being committed being committed to your health this is what the other side can look like and i think there's nothing wrong with it i i, I salute him in fact I used to envy him, but I don't envy him anymore. And I think that's the maturity in me. What I do is I say, listen, if I say that I want better for myself, then this is what I'm going to have to do to get it. Well, come on with the Lenny Kravitz ministry. Uh, we love it. And uh, Lenny, you know, if you want to share with us, dish in all the, the ways in which you have maintained that vibrancy over the yeah. years, because to Al's point, uh, I believe it didn't just start uh uh recently you know he's he's been this way been this way uh for a long time if you want to come and dish and share so that we can all partake uh in uh, the lessons in your longevity journey you are always welcome here on a more perfect union and he I'm doesn't sure. have to wear a shirt if he don't want to <laughs> <laughs> oops sorry oh. <laughs> all right al <laughs> gotta keep it PG. my bad this is what happens when you have what is this pop culture talk you're right it's turning into a more perfect union uh, uh after hours uh when we come forward uh with al reynolds co-host of tgif on fox soul uh we're gonna get his take on uh fonnie willis uh the saga of whether fulton county district attorney fonnie willis will be disqualified from prosecuting Donald Trump and 14 others for allegedly trying to steal the 2020 election in Georgia is far from over. We all know it. Mm -hmm. And whether the case will go to trial before the next election this November is anybody's guess. Should Fonnie Willis make a graceful exit or should she stay put? We'll get Al Reynolds' take on that and more. You're listening to A More Perfect Union on KBLA Talk 1580. A safe place to go loud, loud. loud. A great place for progressive politics. KBLA Talk 1580. 1580. Sometimes we lose, sometimes we win. Sometimes we try to fit it all in. Sometimes we don't know what's in store. Sometimes we find what we're looking for. Sometimes we're rolling easy and free. Sometimes one and one makes three. So much to love along this ride. That's why Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Psst. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpit stink. Uh -huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my... Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my... Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it and now I get 72 hours of freshness from my pits to my... Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Fabrice. Fabric Talk. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Fabrice Fabric Spray Day. The occasional deep cleans are nice, but in between, you know I'm needing a refresh. Ooh, here she comes with the Fabrice Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them armrests. Don't be shy. Nothing like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. Don't forget my back. Nice. Fabrice Fabric Spray. It's just that easy. Now we can both breathe happy for breeze. La 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 la. What? What? Yeah. 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 The California Crusader newspaper would like to thank all of our subscribers for their support throughout the years. Proudly serving the South Los Angeles and South Bay areas for more than 40 years. The California Crusader is a multicultural, black-owned, adjudicated newspaper that focuses on providing newsworthy information to people in our community. 
We're constantly looking for ways to assist businesses in our community to connect with our subscribers. We provide low-cost, effective ways to promote your business with our reasonable and affordable advertising rates. You can participate by suggesting, sharing, and submitting your stories on the California Crusader newspaper Community Share Facebook group page or visit our website at cow-cruise-news.com. That's cowcruisenews.com. Then click on the Submit Now button located on the top right corner of the home page or text CCN to 42828. Again, text CCN to 42828. The California Crusader newspaper, working together to build a better community for our future. Subscribe today. today. We knew you'd stick around. This is LA's home for progressive talk radio. Welcome back to KBLA Talk 1580. You're listening to a more perfect union on KBLA Talk 1580. I'm Dr. Wow. Decordelai Corte, and really delighted to be in conversation here with Al Reynolds, uh-huh. co-host of Fox Souls TGIF. Uh, also, right. he's an entertainment and pop culture correspondent, uh, keeping his uh, pulse, his finger on the pulse of uh, what is happening in pop culture. Um, before we get to Fonnie Willis, I just got to give a quick update in terms of what's happening in Trump verse. Yep, Trump verse. Uh, did y'all hear about uh, Trump social media company? How it's going public and a merger that could net the cash strap ex president not one, not two, but three billion dollars. That's right. Shareholders in Digital World Acquisition Corp voted today to approve a merger with Donald Trump social media company, a deal that could net the former president an eventual, eventual windfall of $3 billion or more. Also happening uh, in the Trump verse, uh, we know that uh, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, she stay at it. Ain't she busy though? Mm -hmm. Uh, Representative Marjorie Marjorie Taylor Greene files a motion to oust Mike Johnson as the House Speaker. Here we go again. Far right Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene today filed a motion to oust Spike the Speaker Uh, Mike Johnson doing so just as the House voted to avoid a government shutdown. Johnson has served for speaker, served as speaker for five months, uh, having taken over for Kevin McCarthy. Uh, It was not immediately clear how the House would act on her motion, which requires just a majority vote to remove the speaker. Green told reporters that her motion to vacate was, quote, more of a warning than a pink slip saying that she does not want to throw the house into chaos like the three and a half weeks that the chamber was without a speaker with McCarthy, her close ally, was ousted. But she says, I'm not saying that it won't happen in two weeks or it won't happen in a month. Who knows when? But I'm saying the clock has started. It's time for our conference to choose a new speaker. And so this is some of the chaos uh, that uh, the MAGA party, the Trump party, uh, seems to be all about. and. As if that would not bring about any more chaos, Representative Mike Gallagher announced that he'll resign in April, further narrowing the House GOP majority. Under Wisconsin law, Gallagher's seat will remain vacant until January with the November general election to to determine who wins the seat. And so that uh, does not help uh, the current speaker who is trying to manage a very unruly uh, House Republican Caucus. Uh, and so that's the latest coming out of the Trump verse. But speaking of the Trump verse, uh, we've got to talk about Fonnie Willis. Uh, you know, she uh, was allowed to to keep uh, her job as a prosecutor on the Trump case as long as uh, Nathan Wade resigned. It had to be one of them. One of them had to resign, and Nathan Wade did. But is that enough? Uh, you know, should she step away from the case? We know that folks on the right will not let up. Al Riddles, what say you? So you know what? I I, I got to be honest with you, and you're not going to like what I'm about to say here, but she's got to go. She's got to go because this is classic. She is now a distraction to her ability to do her job. Now, everything was fine until the judge said that she, she exhibited an exercise, an extreme lapse in judgment. Now, when he opened that door, he's opened the door for the Trump team to constantly question her judgment, right? So everything that she will bring forth is now up for questioning. 
And that becomes a distraction to the case. Now, what I would like to see ideally is for her to become a special counsel, meaning that whoever takes on this case, she can guide them through where what she found, what her case is, and how to get this conviction. Unfortunately, because of all of this, her credibility is on zero in public opinion. Not zero in professional opinion. We know what this is. We know what this clown show is. But this man wins in one courtroom all the time, and that's a public opinion. In public opinion, she has devalued herself and her credibility is questioned. I think if we really want to see the results, and I understand this is a case of a lifetime, these types of cases change its counselors' careers. And for her, she works so hard and so diligent and so on point with everything. But this hiccup right here is one that we can't just let go away with a sip of water. She's got to understand that for the good of the country, she has to step aside and she has to let the law do what the law does best. Without her doing that, we run the risk of everything that she brings forth being questioned, we run the risk of all of her cre her credibility being questioned and not the facts. We saw it. They over here running her in circles about her, her, her sex life, about her expense account, about her money, when we should be talking about what the president did. Unfortunately, yeah. and I hate to be the one to say this, I have to and I beg of her, please step aside so that we can get this man where he needs to be and that is in jail. Well, I, 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 look, I, I think those are sobering remarks. And, uh, you know, I can't disagree. I can't disagree. You know, uh, sometimes it's not the conflict of interest. Sometimes it's even just the appearance of a That's conflict. Right. right. And uh, we know that uh, uh, Trump's legal team will grasp at every straw and look for every reason to say that he had an unfair uh, trial. And so I think those might be wise words coming from you, Al. Uh, before we let you go in our remaining minute, uh, okay. uh, today, uh, Shirley uh, is uh, released. It's the biopic uh, about U.S. Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, uh, wow. an earnest, curiously listed biopic of a woman whose legacy uh, uh, suffuses modern life, even if it goes unacknowledged. Uh, I'm sure we all remember, well, not all of us, but some of our leaders, listeners, and learners remember that 1968, Chisholm became the first African-American woman to serve as U.S. representative for New York's 12th district. And an early scene in Shirley depicts the Brooklyn politician hurrying to finish her McDonald's strawberry milkshake before joining the year's class picture on the Capitol steps, the only black and female face in a sea of white men. Uh, the Washington Post is saying, uh, in Shirley, uh, an underestimated black congresswoman in an undercooked film. Uh, will you be watching this film this week? And will you be streaming this on Netflix, Al? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ab ab now, remember, I was born in the 70s, and my mother was that black mother that shook tables like Shirley Chisholm. And let's not forget now, if I'm not mistaken, correct me here, she also, you know, what ran for president. She did. So this was a table shaker. I love a good old table shaker, and I love a good old black woman that is a table shaker. It just saddens me that we have not gotten the press around her, that she has not gotten the support around her story. And I will say this. I will commit to not only watching, but making 10 of my friends watch because we have to make sure that when content like this is shared, that it's uplifted so that Netflix know that there needs to be more. What a revolutionary woman. Can you imagine the odds? Can you imagine like what she had to go up against just mm -hmm. to be present? I yes. definitely will be watching. Well, I'll be watching uh, uh, also. And uh, our thanks to you, Al Reynolds, for always uh, bringing us a good work and a good a good word and a good kiki. Uh, we'll have to leave it there. Uh, you've been watching a more, you've been listening and watching A More Perfect Union on KBLA Talk 1580. My thanks to The Village that helps us produce this show each and every day. Our executive producer, Tavis Smiley, our sound engineer extraordinaire, Miles Lowe, our show producer, Robert Battles, our podcast publishing guru, Odell Bodie, and our social media maven, Michaela. 
Remember, don't panic. Organize. Do what you can from where you are with what you have. I'm Dr. Nicordelai Cortez.